Hello friends, Andrew Demeter here today with a nightclub chatbot template for you. This is super exciting stuff, no matter what role you might play in your local nightlife scene, this is the template for you. Your customers are gonna love it, but most importantly, it's gonna help you drive sales and boost revenue at the club. How exactly, you ask? Well, let's click get started here to show you exactly how it works. So first thing that new users will see in the bot is a logo of your brand. Of course, this is fully customizable, simple drag and drop interface to make these changes as you so choose. Next users see this mysterious call to action, right? Claim free gift. They're intrigued. They're interested. There's an incentive there. So they're like, yeah, I want something free. How does this work? They click to enter their birthday. I'll say I was born on January 10th, 1990. And then I will save that. Obviously at this point, the information here, this extremely valuable marketing data is captured in Facebook Messenger. And this gives us some really, really cool opportunities. For example, one week now before the user's actual birthday, we can send them a message, a reminder, hey, your birthday's coming up. Do you wanna schedule a party at the club? Alternatively or simultaneously on the birthday itself, the day of, we can send them a message such as, hey, come in for this special offer of a free bottle of champagne, for example, or at least a free glass, right? So you have these extremely valuable marketing opportunities now for lead generation. Let's skip ahead though to events. This is where users, anyone in the bot can check up on upcoming events, right? So for example, if they want to get tickets for a Valentine's Day event, they can do exactly that. So I'm gonna skip over here and show you exactly how how that works. So again, it gives the basic date, this beautiful card, which you can replace with anything you want, and then also pricing, etc. And of course, the call to action to purchase tickets. In this case, while you could set this up natively within Facebook Messenger for the purchasing of tickets, I just have a simple redirect set up to Eventbrite where that whole sales process is managed externally. So that's not something that you have to worry about. Next here, you have bottle service. So say that I'm interested in ordering a drink at the club, I can check all the different options that they have here. Say that I'd like a bottle of champagne, I can click here on explore, and then it'll come back with the different options available to me. Obviously, in this case, I only have two, you can add or subtract as necessary, customize, etc. Next, let's skip ahead to booking a VIP table. So say that I want to, you know, grab a spot to an upcoming event, but I don't want to just get normal tickets. I want to get the VIP stuff. I can go here and I have two options. I can click to either call the actual phone number of the club, or alternatively, I can submit a lead form right here within Facebook Messenger. So first of all, ask for email. I'll just type in a placeholder email, phone number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And then it'll ask how many people, I'll say six to 10. And any additional information, I'll say nope. And now this lead has fully been captured in Facebook Messenger. So what does this mean? In the background, this lead info has been emailed to the nightclub. The VIP services can follow up as necessary and coordinate all the logistics of that. But it's super simple to capture all of this lead data, whether it's the birthday and sending out that marketing campaign or whether it's actually booking tables in the club for certain dates. Next, I have the FAQs, Frequently Asked Questions set up here. And this isn't really a feature so much as it is something that happens in the background, right? So instead of actually having content here, this just reminds users that they can type in any question they have essentially free form. So for example, I could say, I lost my phone at the club. Can you help me find it? And once I type that in, it's going to come back saying, hey, here's the number to our club where you can inquire about lost and found items, right? So that's one example. There's about 10 plus of these built-in frequently asked questions that you can customize. Another one, I'll say, where is the club located, for example? And this will come back giving me step-by-step -step directions based on my current location relative to the club. So I'll click get directions right here. It'll prompt me to share my location. I'll do just that. I'll move this up a little to send a random location. And then again, it'll come back with step-by-step -step instructions or directions for me to the club via Google Maps. So really effective stuff right here. Imagine what this can do for customer service. You know, users aren't typically expecting this type of prompt customer service, and now you can give it to them on autopilot. Other questions that I might ask, let's see. Uh, I'd like to book a private event, for example. I type that in, it'll take me back to the original VIP services lead form where I can submit an inquiry for that. Uh, other things, let's see, what is parking like? For example, this club is in the city, so if somebody has a question about parking, they can ask just that, and it'll give them the relevant information right back 
immediately. So that's pretty much the extent of this chat bot in Facebook Messenger for nightclubs. Again, just to recap the key features here, we have the ability to capture a user's birthday, which is really valuable for lead generation and marketing purposes. We also have the ability to send or answer these frequently asked questions from users. And then finally, we also have the bottle service opportunities as well. So people, if they're interested, can check on that and also order tickets to events as well. So that's pretty much this demo. If you guys have any questions, be sure to let me know. Other than that, take care.